Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 5th to August 11th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Virgo. What's the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week? Virgo. All right. Ten of Pentacles is showing up here. We also have here the Two of Cups for you. Virgo. We also have here the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. It's good. At the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands with the Lovers. Wow. And the Eight of Wands. And wow, the World card. Lots of good cards here, Virgo. So this is kind of feeling like a new relationship here. That's what it feels like. Yeah, we have two aces here, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, either this is a new relationship with a new person, or if this is a past person, this is someone who wants an, a new beginning with you. They want to create a new relationship with you, even if it's a past person. Or again, if it's a new person, then they want to create a new relationship with you as well. Same thing. This is someone who wants to, who wants to begin a brand new cycle with you. With the Two of Cups and the Lovers, this is someone who's very, very deeply in love with you. And I feel like you're very, very deeply in love with them as well. It feels mutual. I don't feel like it's one-sided. Or I don't feel like it's unrequited. Because I did ask about your energy. So, no, I'm not, I'm not getting at all that it's one-sided. It feels like it's mutual. Um, this is someone who you, ha you feel a lot of love for. You feel a deep connection with this person, with the lover's card. Deep spiritual connection. Um, chemistry, attraction, passion, soulmate bond. You feel like this person is your other half and they feel like you are their other half. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Let me see what I want to do here. I think I want to clarify the world and then I want to go and look at the other side of the reading. Let me let me look at this world just to just out of curiosity. Spirit, tell me about the world card showing up here in Virgo's energy. This is this is coming in quick. With the Eight of Wands, this new beginning or this new connection, new relationship, it's coming towards you quickly. Um, things are things are developing quickly. Emotions are developing quickly. The the connection is quickly getting stronger between the two of you. This person wants to quickly move things forward with you as well. Tell me about the world. Oh, we have the Eight of Cups here. Eight of Cups with the world. Some of you had to walk away from something related, from something from your past. You needed to walk away from that so that you can make space for a brand new beginning. Hmm. What else can you tell me about the world, Spirit? What else can you tell me about the world for Virgo? 
Yeah, Ten of Swords. You went through a very difficult breakup or separation, maybe even a divorce. And, you know, it was, it was painful to walk away from, from this past relationship, but you did it. You did it anyway. All right, let me look at the other side of the reading just to get a full picture here. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? All right, in this person's energy towards you, we do have the two of wands. There could be physical distance. We also have the king of cups. Okay, that's good. We also have the fool. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of swords. We also have the ten of wands. And we have the page of cups with the high priestess. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy of a past person here, Virgo, that wants to... Um, wants to make amends with you with the ten of wands and the page of cups there's a past person that wants that wants to make amends with you that wants to apologize to you that wants to make things right with you and the reason why they want to make things right with you is because they still love you king of cups male or female doesn't matter the gender they they still feel a lot of love for you they still feel a deep emotional connection with you even stronger than before is what I'm noticing with the King of Cups and the Fool. Um, they feel an even stronger emotional connection to you. It's almost like they, they see your worth now a lot more than they did before. They understand your worth now a lot more than they did before. Yeah, because I feel like this person let their, let their ego get the best of them in the beginning. I feel like this person played a lot of head games and mind games with you. They were very manipulative also. Um, with the high priestess, this person kept a lot of secrets from you. Um, very secretive, very sneaky. Definitely, um, they were dishonest with you as well. They kind of took you for granted and I feel like you got tired of it and you walked away from this person but now this person feels like they made a big mistake, they see your worth now, they understand your worth and they want to they wanna tell you that they still love you and that they want to make things better here, they want to make amends, they want to apologize. Um, they, they regret what they did. They regret sabotaging their relationship with you. And they basically want you to give them another chance. But to be honest with you, Virgo, some, for some of you, um, maybe not all of you, but for some of you, you might already be in a brand new connection and, or a brand new relationship here with somebody new. So it might be a little bit too late for this person is what I'm getting. Because... I feel like you're already happy or you, you found happiness with someone, with someone else. And this person, I'm not sure if they're aware of that. They might be aware of that, but even if they are aware of it, they don't care. They still want to try to get you back is what I'm noticing here. Yeah, they still want to take a leap of faith in your direction with the full card. They're hoping that you'll 
you'll forgive them or that you'll still love them and that you'll still want to be with them is what I'm getting here. Okay. All right, Virgo, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to, I'm going to now continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will, what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.